Good morning, Piscianos. Good morning. I hope you guys had a good night's sleep. I hope you woke up today feeling happy, safe, and peaceful. Thank you to everyone that has liked, commented, subscribed, done personals, and gave donations. My cards are out because this happened again where no Valium came on my video. It rarely happens, but it happened twice this week, and I understand why completely. So, yeah, um, let's get into the reading and I will explain. So, Pisces. So, a couple nights ago, there was two nights in a row that I went to sleep and I woke up to a door opening. Not in my house, but I guess in my mind, in my mind's eye, I could hear it too. Like it was like, you know, and it would open. And that's how I would wake up, like, hmm? like as if somebody was coming into my house. And then it happened again the next night. And then the third night, um, what woke me up that third night was someone saying my name, Susan, you know, and then I woke up. So last night I said, I don't know what this is. I get an uneasy feeling, honestly. I've been cleansing my house. I've been doing everything that I do here, praying. Um, and this morning I saw a beautiful angel in a cowboy hat that came down and woke me up this morning. Like I felt him coming from the heavens and he came down like, you know, and telepathically basically told me good morning with a beautiful smile on his face with a cowboy hat, I know. And I was, that, that stands out. Like I was wondering, what the hell is he doing with the cowboy hat? But whatever. Um, so, you know, I, I've been feeling it. And I feel like the cards are explaining to me also what's happening. And I'm going to put it out there for you. And obviously, this is the second time that I've tried to put videos out. And it stops me for some reason. But I'm going to do my, my best to re-explain because it doesn't want this message to go out, but I'm gonna do my best to re-explain this because it's gonna go out, because I do need to share it, sharing. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Shadow side in the reversal. The Shadow side in this deck is the Devil's card. So this Four of Pentacles, Pisces, I love that this card came out first. I feel like it is your energy. I feel like you are in a very protective state. Um, I feel like you are in a place where you are feeling the negativity that's going on around you in the world, maybe through some or certain people that are around you as well. Hold on, I might have to sneeze. Ooh. Excuse me. Nope. Came in a whip. So I do feel the energy, Pisces, like you, you, you are aware of it and you're in protection mode. You see that cross? There's literally a cross on his door. So I know I have one on my door. If you don't have one, I would get one. Um, you don't have to as long as you have one in your house. I just like it on the door. Um, so I do feel like you are aware of it. I also felt, Pisces, that there is someone that might be wearing a false mask. Like, two, like they have two sides to them. Like they show you one side and then there's really another side to them behind your back. So I don't know if this person might be sending you negativity. I don't really know. I don't really care. But I know that you're feeling it and you're you're in protection mode. You know, that's what I feel there, Pisces. I also got this four of swords. I feel like there's this mass feeling of trying to get people sad and depressed and staying, you know, um, kind of... Um, kind of in this um, a deep state of like sadness and depression. I feel like that is something that's trying to happen or go on. It may not just be with you, Pisces, there's other people around you. I feel like somebody, you know, is maybe trying maybe trying to put you into that place. But let me, let me keep going because I know, see, this is why I don't like to redo it because I know what I felt first shot. But um, sometimes I might forget a detail here and there, but they're not going to win, Pisces. They're not going to win. So... Okay, okay. So with the four of, no, I'm sorry, the wheel of the year, it's the wheel of fortune in this deck. And then the six of wands, Pisces. I do feel this to me in the reversal is something about bad luck, bad energy. Um, and I feel like you're, you're right. You're right, Pisces. You do feel it. Like every angle from you, there's some type of negativity. There's some type of like bad energy surrounding you. But you are protected. You literally have a cross 
on your back. Do you see that? Like, I got your back. You have that there. And you know it. So, I feel like you're going to be successful in getting over this hump or ever or this this time period, you know, I don't know much about the moon, you know, I know we feel things during the moon. So I know that um, things have becoming very clear to you around this time. You know, that gut instinct that you have Pisces, if you feel that you're around a person and they don't make you feel right, maybe they're throwing subliminals at you, little jabs, or it could just be their toxic energy radiating from their body that you can feel. And I know you feel it because there you are in protection mode. So just trust that gut. If it don't feel right, if you don't feel good around it, your intuition is telling you it for a reason. Remove yourself from that feeling. Put yourself into a higher vibra vibrating state, even if that means you gotta be by yourself. I, I don't mind it sometimes. I love it actually. I do my workouts, I do my yoga, you know, um, I enjoy my life. I eat the meals that I like to eat, you know, do whatever it is that makes you happy, Pisces, that hires up your vibration, you know, anything that could do that. Because I feel like there's a lot of toxicity that's in this realm right now. That's in, in not just this realm, but like the other realms. And they're trying. They're not going to win though. I see it very clearly with that six of wands looking over at that wheel of fortune there in the reversal. It's not going to win. There's too many warriors of the light, Pisces. There's too many of us. We need to harvest our light. Also, the other thing that I felt, Pisces, was that they, they definitely want you. They want dark Pisces to come out. That's what they want. They love dark Pisces because it's dark, you know? And I feel like that's what they're trying to trigger. They're trying to trigger some type of emotions inside of you, maybe envy, jealousy, you know, uh, depression, you know, whatever it is. They're trying to, anxiety, whatever these emotions are, they're trying to trigger it. But again, this card coming out first saying is that you are aware and you are trying to keep your spirits up and you're trying to focus on the light. And that's what I feel you here doing, Pisces. So you're doing an excellent job of keeping these things away from you. All right, let's get into the shadow in the reversal and the king of cups in the reversal. For some of you, you may not be communicating with this person that wears, you know, uh, a mask. I feel like you may not be communicating with them. I think you, you're you you're on protection mode. You know that this person is not good for you, doesn't make you feel good. If you are talking to this person, if you did have a lapse in judgment, Pisces, um, and now you're like regretting it, that's the feeling that I'm getting. Like, why did I communicate with this person? I should have never communicated with this person. That's what I'm feeling there, Pisces. That's the feeling that I'm getting. You're very much aware now that you should have never played with this person. Now, this is interesting here. I got the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles in the reversal. They want the same thing that you want. They're just going about it with the wrong energy. Everybody wants the Ten of Pentacles. Everybody. Everybody wants to have abundance, to have the love of family, generational wealth, all that stuff. We all want that. It's that they use a different energy to get it. And more importantly, with that two of pentacles there, I feel Pisces in the reversal. I feel like they believe that there can only be one person to have it all and they want it to be them. They don't believe that everyone can have it all, that there's room for in the table for everyone. They don't believe that. They believe they need to be on top. And that definitely is a sign of the devil. The devil makes people feel that way, Pisces. Again, it's in the reversal not happening. They're not going to win, Pisces. That's the energy that I'm getting there. All right. Um, I was also feeling here that they were growing very impatient. That's what I, and I'm not 100% sure. I, I, it's some type of um, sexual competition that I was feeling here. And I'm not completely sure about what this means. I don't know if they're trying to compete with you, you know, um, like physically, I don't really know, but there is some type of sexual competition that I feel like they're having with you. Maybe they just want to be sexier than you. I don't know, which is the most like ridiculous asinine thing in, in the world. But again, when you talk about the dark forces, you know, it is always going to be petty always. So that's what I was feeling there, Pisces. Um, I know I was something else, but I don't remember. Hold on. I don't remember. See, 
But that's okay, Pisces, because you're getting the message. You're getting the main point of the message here. I'm loving that that four pen. Look at that. Look at you. Look at your energy, Pisces. I'm aware. Thanks, bitch, for the confirmation, but I'm aware. <laughs> that's what I love. I love that. And that's why we're here, Pisces. We are warriors of the light. We will keep the light. We will not give into the dark. We will not allow darkness to overcome us. We are stronger. God is stronger than the devil, always and forever, Pisces. Now, I did get for the advice of sharing. Yeah, this is what we are meant to do. We are meant to share this information. So if there's people that you love and you see that their life might be, you know, not all there, share information with them. Tell them a little bit. You know, you know, be careful, of course, on who you talk to, you know, because I don't want them to say, oh, this person's a nut. This person believes in the devil, you know, whatever. I, I know I run into those people and they just look at me with a smile like I'm stupid or something, but it's okay. I'm okay with that. You know, I know what I feel. I know you guys know what you feel. No one can tell you what you can feel and see. A lot of you see it very clearly for yourselves. So yeah, but maybe there's ways of helping them. Maybe the, teaching them about protecting their energy, cleaning their spaces for them. I don't know. For the people that you do love, this is a time of cleaning out your house before the new year. Make sure that your house is in order. Like the more stuff that you can get rid of, you know, that things that, you know how you accumulate all that stuff, that's bad energy. You know, to have stuff like all stacked up in your house, get rid of all that shit. Make it as clear, as minimalistic as possible coming into this new year. Cleanse your house, cleanse yourself, do everything you can do to bring in positivity, good energy. We will win, Pisces. The energy here is we will overcome and we will win. The dark never wins. All right, Pisces, I hope you like the reading. Please like and subscribe and thank you.